about food. Damn that, you're right. But just because you like your food a certain way, there is no reason to tell these ponies that they need to do the same. Are you saying food critics are pointless? Sorry, South Park did it first. Pinky and Rarity team up once again in Spice Up Your Life, an episode with a particularly interesting moral, but let's take our time and look over things first. The group starts off by fixing the map in Twilight's castle, which begs the question, why didn't they do that to begin with? And it assigns Pinky and Rarity to a friendship problem in Canterlot. They come across restaurant after restaurant with bad tasting food until they find the special treat, a restaurant with actual good food. But because the restaurant has no rating, it's not receiving any customers, which heavily frustrates the owners and seems to be damaging their relationship. Realizing that this could be the friendship problem they were sent to solve, Diane and Rarity offer their help to get the restaurant on the map. But things get out of hand when Rarity changes plans in order to satisfy Zesty Gourmet, the food critic of the city. The pacing, for the most part, is pretty standard. There are times when they go on exposition that feels dragged out or do one thing for too long, but its strength lies within how it sets up the conflict. The episode allows us to absorb the situation and segues into each segment fairly so. Even the song in the middle helps to move the story forward without overstaying its welcome. The song itself also has some good things going for it. Pinky and Rarity harmonize greatly and even sing well in their individual verses. It also plays very well with the contrast it's going for, with Rarity suggesting that they adapt to what others want, while Pinky sings about how being different from the other restaurants is what makes it great. There are times it gets repetitive, with the same shot being used three times and some of the tones sounding copy-pasted, but it still sounds nice and holds importance to the story. Diane and Rarity still work off of each other very well, and this episode does give them more to work with than the gift of the Mod Pie. It's a situation where they both have different ideas in what will help solve the problem that isn't out of character. They also place themselves in areas where their experience is appropriate and it's not out of place. But on the other hand, it's presented in a way that's problematic. The way the story is presented, it shows that Pinky is in the right. It's understandable where Rarity is coming from, but she tends to make decisions that really don't add up. She knew from earlier that the carbon copy food was no good and that the restaurant's real problem was that it wasn't getting any customers. All she really had to do was help people come to the restaurant, but she was trying way too hard to impress Sesti. It works against the episode because it makes her look like an idiot while Pinky knew more than her the whole time. And that's not what makes these team-up episodes work. They work because both characters are evenly rounded and competent in a scenario, and by making Rarity look dull next to Pinky, it hurts the presentation that they were going for. The episode does make up for this with its two new characters, Saffron Masala and Coriander Cumin. Their contrast is good, with Saffron being bright and hopeful while Coriander is a frustrated pessimist. Their arguments can feel repetitive, but they're still understandable. They're frustrated with the poor performance of the restaurant and they don't know what to do to get people's attention. And they even set aside time to show their dynamic as a family and how their business has been affecting it. They never meant to get into fights so much, they just lost sight of their connection because of the restaurant. They still make up to each other and start working together like they used to to get the restaurant working while rekindling their relationship. So it works both ways. It all leads up to a highly important moral and possibly one of the best endings ever. It's not hating on critics as much as it's stating that everybody has their own tastes and interests and we don't really have the power to control those things. People should be able to make their own decisions and like something for themselves, not because somebody else told them to. And that's what makes uniqueness an important thing, because anyone can have their own reaction to it, even if it's food. And with all that knowledge, Zesty just struts out with a smug look on her face. And... That's actually a really funny way to close out the episode. 
Sometimes we just need an antagonized character that learns nothing and walks out of the story. And the way the episode just sends her off with everybody else cheering behind is a hilarious note to go out on. Spice Up Your Life is a fairly nice episode with a pretty good ending. Even if some parts are obvious and Rarity is hit with the idiot stick, it still comes around with some good music and a meaningful moral. It's an episode that I look forward to seeing again sometime soon. Miss Anthropony, over and out. Thank you.